From Today FM Ireland, this is the Ian Dempsey Breakfast Show podcast. How are you, buddy? Just looking at some amazing facts here. I know, you know, we don't have a huge amount of time, but did you know that donkeys can't vomit? No. There you go. There you go. Straight into <laughs> Keytopedia. <laughs> uh, did you know that camels, um, their pregnancies can last 410 days? Is this Fix It Friday, buddy? <laughs> no, that's amazing. On a it? Tuesday. On a Tuesday. <laughs> Fix It Tuesday. Um, so, Keith, anyway, uh, is this Keithopedia? This is about Christmas or something, because everybody's talking. We, we're, we're starting to hear the ads. We're starting to see the Christmas tree lights and all that kind of stuff. So, Christmas, I presume, is easy, is it? Christmas <laughs> is, as you say, buddy, easy. Right. There are a little over six weeks to Christmas, which means, at this stage, you should be feeling festive. Right. I.e., looking forward to a season of peace and and goodwill, Lovely. as opposed to seeing David Norris in a completely different light to the way you did before. <laughs> you will now be thinking about getting presents, i.e. gifts, as opposed to that Sorry. intangible human quality often ascribed to movie stars or latterly sorry. Barack Obama. Sorry, sorry, hang on a second. I'm just getting, getting a light here on my screen here. There's somebody on the, on the, on the phone. Hello? Hello? Is there? No? Hello? It's Jay MC. Jay? Yeah. How are you doing? Are you okay? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What? What's going wrong with your show? What do you mean, what's wrong with my so, show? Your show, like, just gone to the dogs. Like, I just, I just felt I had to ring, like, felt compelled to ring in. Just gone bad. Like, Listen, do you want to talk about this off the air like, or something? What's your man, what's your man, old Gappy too, there from the bye band? That's <laughs> what <he> <laughs> Explaining things, like, why aren't you talking about the real issues, Dipsy? Why aren't you talking about Ah, well, it's not really that kind of show. You've got a new producer or something what? lately. Yeah, it's not that kind of... He's obviously free blowing off your kid, huh? Yeah, what, I don't know what you're paying him for. Oh. I tell you what, you sound like them, see? You oh. sound a bit stale. Stale? Like, and desperate. Oh, God. It's actually, I suppose... Oh, I'd hate to be... Insulting on the ears, all I could say to you. Mm-hmm. Like, talk about the real issues, will you? Well, like, with the health service. Okay, let's do talk about the... Do I sound sick too, do I? What? The real issues, Dempsey, do I sound sick? You want to talk... Huh? Do you want to talk about the budget or something? Which budget? The budget. Dempsey, I tell you, your stupidity now is starting to irritate me, Dempsey. Right. You're giving me ire, to hear me? Ire, huh? okay. I'm talking about seismic issue, Dempsey. Seismic, gigantic, Dempsey. Yeah. The cock holders, Dempsey. They're on strike. They're on turmoil. And you're not giving it a bit of coverage, huh? Who side you on anyway, Dempsey? What? Who, Who side am I on? Well, I mean, I know I think I, no, fair, fair and balanced. I'm not, an, I'm not an end. No, excuse me. Sorry, can I speak? Sorry, Jay, Jay, can I speak? Can I speak? the problem. Pick a side, I am not on any side. I'm sorry, okay? You dirty gobshite. You should be on the side of the whole loss. Well, I keep hearing uh, conflicting stories. You see, we're not based in Cork. Right, obviously, yeah. with, your, with your Dublin 4 attitude, MC, you're losing listeners okay. down there by the new time. Okay, you're going to the dogs. <laughs> we've, got, we've, got, um, we've got a Corkonian on, uh, Brendan O'Connor. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Brendan. Yeah, you know what I mean. Brendan, yeah. yeah you know what I mean. How I'm you? sick to the teeth of hearing about Cork Horners. Like, yeah. you know, I just realised why we have the Opera House in Cork. Because Cork, and particularly Cork Horning, is just full of prima donnas. I mean, just get Ben O'Connor, Sean O'Gohalpine, just... Just get them into the frocks or the tutus or whatever they want and just says, let's do it like Madam Butterfly live in the opera house with the car curling team for a limited run only. Alternatively, let's stick Linda Martin and Twink into the cock midfield because quite honestly, like there's no difference really. These guys are divas. Donald Oak makes Mariah Carey look like a walker bee to be quite honest with you. Do you know something new? Do you know something new? Yeah. Christmas is after coming early for me because I've been waiting for a crack off this fat hammerhead now for quite some time. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I'm a disgrace to cock anyway, you, with your big fat head, you and your stupid double nut cheese head, you yeah. dirty traitor, yeah? How could you support your local team anyway and put on a jersey? You yeah, can't get a jersey it. over your big fat hammer head, do you hear me? Do you hear me? No. What would you know about that anyway? You wouldn't know how if it came up and kicked you in the ass. You're a disgrace to us. Brendan, 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 you get off the radio now before you get me hanging yeah. in, you big yeah. dusty galoocher. Brendan, you're a disgrace, Brendan, that's all you are, you fat head. No, fat Jay, head. Jay, shut up for a minute, will you? Brendan. The management was democratically elected, like, you know, this isn't Zimbabwe, like, in or Ghana. This is Cork. When people are talking about Cork hurling, you know, being off the rails, they choose their words carefully, because it's that TV program where you're more likely to find Sean Ogo bloody happy in these days. Nice scarf, Sean. Come on! These guys are soft. No wonder there's a Ben and Jerry on the team, because every time...
trying to play Kilkenny, they melt in the middle of September and seconds like, that's the problem. Dim she, you would yeah. be swell on the radio. Get him off. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Jay, just stay on the line there for today. Brendan, thanks very much for talking to us. Yeah. Th- th- good luck. Cheers. Okay. Uh, we've got the voice of reason, Jay. I'm going to let you go in a second, but we've got the voice of reason. Oh, yeah. Michael O'Leary is on. Michael. Look, the problem with hurling is the same as the problem in the public sector. There's simply too much waste. 15 players on a team is simply outrageous. Shut up. I'm constantly, look, I'm constantly hearing about half-backs and half-forwards. You either are a forward or you're not a forward. Half-back, half-forward, half-arse, shut up. And while we're at it, let's get rid of those guys in the white coats. What are they doing standing around waving flags? Shut up. I'm recruiting at the moment. They can stand on the runway and wave in the planes for 6.75 an hour and shut up. MC, yeah. that just about sums up your show now. Gone to the dogs. Who's that langer on you? Good luck on getting out of here. From Today FM Ireland, this is the Ian Dempsey Breakfast Show podcast.